Hi everyone, it's Cherie from Paper Pieces and Leftovers, and today we are going to do the Franklin Easter Fun file from MarjorieAnnDesigns.com. Now, as I've explained before, I do edit my videos, and I normally have the want to do it in real time, but I can't always get it because the length of the video, it's just so long and I feel bad. Now, to work smarter, not harder, overlay those cut out the little shapes on the eggs and cut them out of the egg that's going to be on the top and cut a solid egg out behind it and then you don't have to mess with all those little itty bitty teeny tiny pieces that's what I did you don't have to do it but it's just an idea so the colors we're going to use are begonia lavender canary tangerine sand and caramel all from American Crafts and then Swimming Pool and Grasshopper by Encore. I did add little buttons instead of cutting the buttons out, and I make my own. I got a mold years ago. You can find them if you just look for them. And then you buy the paint mixtures that go into it, and that's how come my buttons usually match my pieces. Now for his shoe, I'm just showing you guys. I did the shoes, and it's really hard for me to get used to Franklin with shoes because I like his little feetsies. So what I did is I just cut out his feet from another file and swapped those out for the shoes. And then I trimmed the part of the base off that the sh base was showing underneath his foot just because the shoe was a little more offset than the foot was. Now I cut out all those little itty bitty circles I don't know what, I think my hand was itching there. I don't know. Don't mind me and my hand gestures. But anyhow, I did cut out all those little itty bitty circles. I inked them. I just kind of threw them on. No order, no rhyme or reason. I just kind of put them down. But I did leave a little space from the top of the egg for his foot to not be standing on it. So it was flush with the egg itself. Now the other bear is going to be glued in the same process as this one, except his arms are going to be in a different position because he's holding the eggs. This one has the arms on the base, so that does kind of help for sturdiness, but you'll see that I almost glued the body down before the arms, but we'll get to that later. So we're going to start, oh, with the white cardstock, and I forgot also to include the color blush. That's the light pink, and those are both American Crafts. So you're going to start by gluing down my ears for both bears. It doesn't matter which one you're working with right now. You can watch the video twice or just kind of keep in mind when you do the bear that you're not doing with me now because it's going to be the same process no matter which way you go for which bear. So we're going to glue the ears down first, but not his ears, the white ears, and then the pink pads to the bunny ears. And now it's going to go pretty much in the same order that it goes every other time. We're going to do the legs first. The only time the legs aren't glued on first is if his position is for instance, straddling something or sitting on an object like the little spool of thread or a pumpkin, etc. I always worry with my voiceovers, I'm going to have too much time at the end or not enough, but I think we'll be fine in this one. We're going to glue his second leg on, and this one is the one that has the slanted bottom, so if you hold them both next to each other, the one that's slanted is going to go on the right. If you're looking at the top of the leg, the more rounded part is on the left and the flatter one is going to be on the right but it's up to you and that's where I almost glued the body down first because that would be the process when the arms aren't attached to the base as the arms usually go behind your base. I love bases. They are a great guide and one of my favorite things. Now originally I had did this all in real time. It ended in 30 minutes but I was having a little bit of trouble talking and I was afraid I wasn't going to be understood as clearly as I had had a lot of dental work done, including a cleaning and with a cleaning, they numb up your mouth. Even though it was a day later, the pain kind of was slowly creeping up on me 
as I had to have the far, far, far back molars pulled because they were hitting that back bone where there's no teeth, where your jaw opens and closes. And just 40, almost 50 years of the same issue with that back part always being sore, I just finally gave in and let him take them out. He's like, your teeth are so nice and they're so strong and healthy, but I do recommend yanking those and that'll give you the room you need because there's not enough room in your mouth for all of your teeth. Your jaw is very small. So now I'm almost a week out and I feel great. So I figured I'd do a voiceover just that way it was more clear. So after you get your legs on, you'll go ahead and glue your arms on the base and then the body. After that, we'll proceed either to his feet or his ears. It's up to you. The only reason I was holding off on the feet was because I did not use the shoes that came with the file. So after his ears were put on, I went ahead and used, that's a blush color. I did use the same color for my bunny ear pads and my bear ear pads. And this is where I wanted to show you guys the shoes. Now, this, I couldn't tell if it was a shoe or if it was his vest. It is his vest. The ones that look like flower petals are the vest. And you, I've lined them up two different ways, so you don't have to put them a specific way. You just want them to overlap just enough where the buttons look appropriate. And the file does come with little round buttons. You can put some glossy accents on them to make them stand out like buttons. You don't have to make your own buttons like me. I just, over the years, have made so many. I have a large collection of all size buttons. I actually sew also, and that's how I've accumulated a lot of buttons, but we'll just leave that be. So I didn't have my bone folder. I just flipped him over and used my finger to apply the pressure. I glued his head on. I do my faces off camera because everybody has their own technique to the faces. You're not gonna glue his bow on until you glue his head and his muzzle down because it's gonna go just a slight bit above the bottom of the muzzle in the head. Now, the bunny hat part, the top of the bunny head will go on his Franklin's head after you get his head glued down. And then, as you see, I went ahead and put the bow on. Now, I dug out the little buttons, and we're going to go ahead and glue those down. Also, I am using art glitter glue. You can use really any glue as long as it's archival, scrapbook safe, acid and lignin free. Your Barely Arts glue, your art glitter glue. There are so many glues for scrapbooking, it's endless. I still have Martha Stewart glue. Also, the Tombow glue is good. It's really whatever your preference is. And the double-sided sticky tape a lot of it in the tape runners even you can use as long as it's permanent i recommend permanent they do have repositionable temporary i'm kind of scared of that one just because i want my pieces to last forever i don't want it slowly to lift off or i go to open my book and my foot's no longer attached to my little guy so that was just an example of the shoes how to get them on you're going to go ahead and put the shoes down and then the soles go on top. But I opted for just regular feet because Franklin and his feet, I love his feet, even though I'm not a foot person at all. <laughs> when my patients would come in as a nurse, everybody knew my foot phobia and would go get me for the patients that came in with foot problems. And I would cry. I just don't know what it is, but feet are not my favorite. But his feet, they're an omission to the rule. Okay. After I got his feet on, that's where I trimmed down the base. And that just makes it so weird the shoe would have been isn't sticking out from behind his foot. There are tons of gel pens. They do come in different sizes if you're using the jelly roll. And this is one of the Signal rollerball pens. I got all of these off of Amazon since they delivered to my house. 
I do have a couple more videos that I have to edit and do voiceovers for because they were done during and after my dental procedures. So those should be coming here once my husband leaves because he's almost home. He'll only be home for about five days and then he'll be gone for a few weeks. But here's the finished bear. I did import bear number two at a width of 10.0 and bear number one at a width of 9.5. And I let the height auto adjust. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.